Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on record trigger flow. We are going to use create record, update record and send email action. So create record and update records are element and send email will be an action that I'm going to use in a flow. So I will be demonstrating how you can use these things together. So the requirement is whenever we create any account record and if annual revenue is greater than or equals to 10,000, then we need to create one related opportunity to account through create record element, send email to account owner, also update the description field of the account saying opportunity is created, right? If on account creation, annual revenue is less than 10,000, then we need to just send an email and we need to update the description of account saying opportunity is not created. So in second case, we don't need to create any opportunity. So opportunity will be created if annual revenue is greater than or equals to 10,000. So let's jump to developer edition org so that we can create a new flow. So I'm selecting record trigger flow, clicking on create. So here I need to select the account object and whenever a record is created. Then from here, I need to select this condition and I am selecting annual revenue is null false. So if it is not null, it means it is having some value so that I can apply a decision so that I can check whether it is greater than or equals to 10,000 or less. Then we need to create related records. So that's why I am selecting this actions and related records option and clicking on done. So now here I need to apply a decision. So I'm selecting decision element, which will be checking annual revenue. So if it is greater than or equals to 10,000, So here we need to select annual revenue if it is greater than or equal to 10,000. So it will be our first outcome. Then I'm creating one more outcome, which is less than 10,000. So API name should be different. So I'm appending underscore one here. Okay, so if uh, you are unable to find annual revenue directly, so you can just uh, use dollar record because whenever this record trigger flow will be triggered upon creation of any account record, so that account record information will be available in this global variable. So if it is less than 10,000, so this is our second outcome. So this way, these two outcomes I'm creating and clicking on done. Right now here I'm just selecting and so that we have separate paths. So now let's see the requirement. So if annual revenue is greater than or equals to 10,000, then we need to create one related opportunity. So here I'm going to have create record element. So create opportunity one then we need to use separate resources and literals. Here we need to create the opportunity. So we need to set the name. So right now I am choosing the account name. So the newly created opportunities name will be same as the account name through which this flow is triggered. Then we need to provide the close date. So I'm creating new resource as formula
and here I'm writing today. So today's date will be close date, or maybe uh, we can add it this formula later on. If you want to like have uh, like uh, seven days later uh, close date, so you can write today then bracket plus seven. So accordingly, you can modify the formula. Then we need to populate stage. So stage picklist values are available here. You can select any value from uh, these options which are available here. And if you want to relate your newly created opportunity with account, so you need to populate account ID lookup that is available on opportunity with the record ID, account ID. So that you can have through this dollar record dot ID. So this way, first task is done, like opportunity will be uh, created. Now, second task is like send an email to account owner. So we can click on plus, then select an action. Then we can have this send email. Now here, uh, we need to fill these information, right? So send email. So here we need to create body and subject. So I am creating new resource as text template. So here I'm selecting view as plain text. So this is sample email body. Or maybe let's say uh, create some So I'm just searching for owner name. So here it is. So record owner's first name will be available here. Right, so this, this is our email body. Clicking on done. Then subject. Again, we need to create one text template. So here I'm writing account is created. So before writing this, uh, just select plain text so that uh, that HTML text won't be available in your subject. So I clicked on done. Now here we need to provide the email addresses. So we have first option like collection, second of uh, like comma separated. So here I'm including, okay, just, just click on done and uh, uh, we can we can create a variable first and then we need to assign the email ID into that variable and then we can use that variable here. Okay, so I will be creating an email collection. So from this new resource, I'm going to create a variable emails. Its data type is text, allow multiple values, done. And here, like before email alert, I'm just using assignment add emails so here i am using emails the collection variable then clicking on add and then record dot owner dot email right so owner's email will be added into this collection variable now i can use this collection in this send email action so i am enabling this and here this emails will be available and i am clicking on done so this way, second requirement is also implemented. That is to send email to account owner. Now, third part is like uh, update the description field of account saying opportunity is created. So, so in this case, like we need to update the triggered uh, triggering record through which this flow is triggered. So you can select this option. It is a shortcut and you can just select this update record at option, right? So if I select this, so same 
a UI will appear, right? Same UI will appear. And uh, like if I close this and if I click on plus and select this update record, so you can see the same eyes available, same UI is available here. So we need to update account. And this time you need to select this option, use the account record that triggered the flow. And here you can pick the description and you can write opportunities created, right? So now the first part of the requirement is complete. Now we need to implement the second uh, part. So here, uh, if it is less than 10, so we need to send an email and uh, we need to update the description, right? So here I'm just copying this, right? So this action we created, we just need to copy this element and I'm pasting it here. I'm copying this as well and pasting it before. So you can see it is available. This is also created email body, email subject, email collection, everything is available, right? But if you want to change that email body, like if you go and here you can see email body saying like an opportunity is created. Okay, so I'm just modifying this. I'm just writing welcome so that it will be common. If otherwise you need to create two different email bodies so that you can use them. So as per the requirement you can create. So I'm just demonstrating. So that's why I'm using same email body for both, right? So now I need to just use update record. So I am just uh, clicking on this update triggering record. So update account. So here also you can just copy uh, that element. So instead of creating, so let's copy this one. I'm pasting it here. So you can see it is available. And here I just need to modify it. Opportunity is not created. So this way the complete record trigger flow is implemented uh, as per the requirement. Now we just need to test it. I'm activating it. So now we need to test each and every uh, requirement which is mentioned. So I am just going to open sales application. So I'm going to create two accounts. In first one, an annual revenue will be uh, greater than 10,000. So I'm filling 20,000 and description is blank, right? So three things should happen. Opportunity should be created. This description should be updated and, and mail should be there uh, to account owner. So I clicked on save. So in the related, you can see opportunity is created and opportunity name is same as account name, account 2203, right? If I go to details, so you can see opportunity is created. This, op this message is available here. Now, account owner. So if I open it in new, new link, so account owner's email is this. So if I go to this email, so I should receive some email. So here you can see account is created. Hi, uh, account owner's first name, then welcome and thanks. So this way, all three options are working. Now I'm going to create one more account. This time I'm entering annual revenue as less than 10,000. So it is 5,000, saving it. So you can see related opportunity is not created. If I go to details, so description is containing opportunity is not created. So which, which is correct. If I go here, so there should be one email. It is here. So this way, uh, all the requirements are covered with this flow. So if you want to do more than one tasks in a record trigger flow, so that is also possible. So I demonstrated this uh, you with the help of this requirement.